Hey what's going on guys welcome back to another video in today's video I will be showcasing a script for Phantom Forces now of course as you may know that any sort of script requires an executor to be used so if you don't have an executor you can go ahead and check out my video on the kernel executor which is a free executor you can download um, and of course all the download instructions will be uh, available in my previous video on kernel. So once you do have an executor, the very first thing that you want to do is of course go to the, the description of this video where you will find the download link. Simply go ahead and open that up and you should see a page that looks similar to this. I do recommend using Chrome, the Chrome browser for this download or for the script. Um, so once you do have this opened, it, might, it may look something similar to this. If it does uh, show this little prompt right here, just go ahead and uh, complete that. So over here, we just need to do palm trees. So there we go. Um, and then once you have completed that, you should see a page that looks similar to this over here. Just go ahead and click on free access and that will go ahead and open up the script for you. Um, if you don't get the script instantly, it might ask you to wait on a little page for 10 seconds. Go ahead and do that and then you should see this page over here. So I've gone ahead and blurred this out, but you should see the script along with the Discord server that you need to join. Um, so the reason you have to join the Discord server is because you need to get a key that changes every week so this script is free to use but you do need to grab a key uh, from their discord server so once you do see this little page that i've got opened you will see the script at the top and of course the discord server will be provided there as well so you can go ahead and join their discord server once you have joined the discord server you simply want to go ahead and go over to the key option and you will see the key and this of course changes every week so if you're watching this video maybe um, in a week's time you might not be able to use this key that you see on the screen so to get a new key you need to join the discord server and grab a new key um, but all you want to do is simply copy this uh, the key that you see in this channel and then you're free to go into uh, roblox so let's go ahead and open up roblox now and we'll go into phantom forces and i'll of course be able to showcase this script for you as well um so i'll just go ahead and cut this part out and i'll um go ahead and skip it to the part where i do load into the game all right there we go so you simply want to go ahead and join phantom forces and you can see that synapse has now uh, injected into the game of course if you're not using synapse this is a paid executor then you can go ahead and use kernel uh, that you will find a video on that I've made previously. So once you have fully loaded in and you have copied the script that was shown to you uh, previously, you simply want to go ahead and click on execute once of course you have attached. I've got auto attach on. Okay, never mind, I don't. So let's go ahead and attach. So let's go ahead and inject. So it's currently injecting. There we go. And we can now go ahead and execute the script. Once you do execute the script, for me, I've got the key uh, injected already or uh, you know it's not asking you for a key right now but in your case it will ask you to insert a key and of course you want to follow the steps that i have previously shown you and this is the menu for the actual script right here so you can see a bunch of different options you've got the aim the the damage uh, of course you've got the gun mods as well and you can also unlock all weapons now this won't stay permanently it will be uh, a local it's a, it's a local script so it only shows on your end so every time you do want to unlock all weapons again you do want to always check this or, or just click this box again so over here we'll go ahead and turn on the gun mods firstly so there we go uh, of course you've got silent aim as well so we'll go ahead and turn that on with the silent aim you don't want to use head and the reason you don't want the head is because it will always aim for the head so the kill feed will always show headshots and that's a really obvious way of kind of picking out cheaters in roblox so you want to set this to torso and this makes it harder for phantom forces uh, or phantom forces players to be able to kind of notice that you may be cheating uh, so over here you've got rejoin on vault kick now I personally don't use this option and the reason for this is because it won't rejoin the same session so every time a, a vault kick has been initiated it will instantly leave that game and it will join a new session so you can use it if you want to I personally don't really use it because the settings that I use don't really get me kicked um, so we'll go ahead and just leave that I do also like to turn on wall check so it doesn't start wall banging people with a silent aim. 
uh, if you do turn on auto wall bank this is a really really blatant way uh, of you know just telling everyone that you're cheating because it will start to instantly kill everyone around you you don't even have to fire your weapon so you don't really want to use this unless you're really trying to make it obvious that you may be cheating over here you've got the character changes so force reset auto respawn um you've got no full damage b hop now these options may be a little blatant so if you turn on gravity you will start floating uh you've got the jump powers you can jump really high you've got the walk speed um that will make your character walk faster of course the uh aim visual so these are just visuals so it, will, it might show you like little particles as you're shooting and things like that um, in the misc section, this is more to do with the actual uh, visuals again. So you've got remove fog, the vault color, you can change the sky. Um, and of course, you also have the option to arrange the hitboxes. Now, you again, don't want to use the head hitbox. This will make the area of damage for the head larger. So you will get more headshots and it will be easier for you to actually kill enemies. Um, you just want to leave it on two tours. So if you do want to use this, um, if you want to make the game fun, uh, I would, you know, I'm, I'm personally saying that when you do use silent aim, it does kind of make it boring because you're really, it's really easy. You can just kill anyone as soon as you see them. Uh, if you want to make it a little more fun for yourself and a little less blatant, uh, you you probably want to uncheck this and just use um, enable torso and that will require you to be a little more uh, kind of aware of your aim and you need to aim a little better as well. Over here, of course, you've got the ESP settings and you can see the amount of changes you can make. So you've got the FOV, so you can change the size of the FOV. And this is basically the area that the silent aim will take effect in. So if you make it smaller, uh, the enemy has to be within this red circle for the silent aim to work. So you can you know, adjust this as much as you want. Of course, the smaller the circle, the less blatant it is. Um, so I'll go ahead and just turn that off. Um, you've also got the uh, name ESP, so you can use uh, see the enemy names. You've got the skeleton. I personally just like to turn on skeleton and uh, health bar. It's completely up to you what else you want to use. You can also customize your crosshair. Uh, you can change the, you can see dead bodies, the body color, things like that. And of course, in settings, this is where you can simply just change the actual UI of the uh, actual cheat. You've got uh, anti AFK on, so you don't actually get AFK'd out. Um, the toggle key, so I can simply press right shift and that will go ahead and close the menu so I can start playing. Uh, you've also got destroy UI and that will basically, it's like a button to uninject the cheat. So if you want to completely get rid of it, you can simply click this and uh, you would have to execute the script again to use it. Uh, over here you can save your settings as well so you can just type in the name that you want for the actual config and then you can click on save config and then when you come back later you can simply just select that config and click on load config and that will load the settings for you so you don't have to always go through everything over here so now of course i will get into some gameplay i will uh you know just mute my mic and i'll uh, put on some background music hopefully you do enjoy the the video uh, of course if you did make sure to drop a like as well and subscribe to the channel and as always thanks for watching Il était bon, le temps basané, le regard timide, les mains tout abîmées, il taillait la pierre, fils d'ouvrier, il en était fier, mais pourquoi vous riez Non, ne le jugez pas, vous qui ne connaissez pas les vertiges et le lapin, vous êtes faussement heureux. Et vos valeurs, lui, il est tout mon monde Et bien plus que ça, seul je crie son nom Quand vient le désarroi Et puis tout s'effondre quand il n'est plus là J'aimerais tellement lui dire, mais je n'ose pas Lui qui me fait tourner dans
parti, je n'ai pu me relever. Ce n'est plus qu'un souvenir, une larme du passé, coincé dans mes yeux, qui ne veut plus s'en aller. Tu me fais tourner dans 